Hi guys, uh, and welcome back to some useful knots, bends and hitches with Des. Um, this evening we've been covering um, loops, different knots for tying loops into rope. Um, and we covered sort of the two, well the three most common uh, and useful I think, um, knots for tying a, a loop onto the end of a piece of rope. So when we have an end of a rope and we want a we want something on that end so we can we can do something with it. Um, so we've covered sort of two really useful knots for that. One that's sort of a, a traditional climbing knot and one that's more traditional sealing knot. But don't let that put you off. You know, use whichever knot is most practical to you. Um, a figure of eight is what you need for a, for a fixed loop on the end. Do a figure of eight. Um, if you like a bowline and you like the, the, the ease and simplicity of, of, of tying it once you know how to use a bowline. Those are both great knots for when we're working at the end of a piece of rope. However, we don't always need a loop at the end of a piece of rope. Sometimes we want the loop in the middle, so it might have a load on both ends of the knot. Um, might be in climbing situations, if you've got a, a single long climbing rope and you have multiple people attached to it, um, or uh, if you, you know, in the maritime environment, perhaps you've got a, a mooring rope, rope going from the, from the boat to the dock, um, and you want a loop on here, because somebody else is going to come up and tie beside you and you want to give them a, a loop uh, to, to tie onto in the side. Um, <clears throat> so the knot I'm going to talk about for this, probably my favourite knot, and I, I arguably I think one of the best for that, is called a alpine butterfly knot, or just a butterfly knot. Um, so this is my piece of rope. I'm assuming my loading uh, is going to be in these directions. It's going to be tied on to fixed points at either end or other, other people. Um, the first thing I do is I take this knot take this knot, take this piece of rope, and I'm just going to twist twice. So I've got one twist um, to get like that, and then I'm going to take a second twist again to get like that. And you can see we've got um, sort of those two twists have given us quite a simple symmetrical um, figure, uh, figure of eight um, like that. So from those two twists, um, all I'm going to do is take this top end of the, the, the twist, I'm going to take it underneath, round, and then back through this hole here. So I'm going to twist this round the bottom, and then this hole here we had earlier uh, in the middle, I'm going to come back through that hole here. And that looks a little bit messy to start with, um, but when you then pull this tight, you'll see the simplicity and beauty of this little knot. It's almost like a Ta-da, people look at it and go, what just happened there? So you can see why they call it a butterfly knot. We've kind of got the, the wings of the butterfly either side. And you can also, if you look closely here, see where the knot's strength comes from. So something I haven't mentioned before is ropes have got a certain tension strength, um, you know, an amount of load they can carry before they will break or snap. And every time you put a knot in a rope, you're weakening, normally weakening the tension strength of that rope because you've got a, a pressure point, a point where, you know, multiple, you know, a lot of forces acting on one single uh, point as opposed to being spread throughout the rest of the structure. This, because the two sort of tension ends of the rope here and here that I'm holding on to, you can see them coming in, lining up parallel to each other here. So that actually means the force in loading on the knot is quite parallel quite, um, you know, and, and therefore less chance of a point loading. So this sort of knot maintains 60 to 70% of the strength of the actual rope, whereas other knots, when you tie them in the rope, can reduce that significantly more. Um, so that's really good because it gives you a really good sort of tension strength still remaining in the knot. The knot. Um, also that means you can tie on and the knot will accept loading in, in, in all all directions pretty much um, without without working free. The last really useful point about this knot, no matter how hard, how much pressure I put on that, I'm pulling that quite tight. Um, it's again, really easy to loosen and free up, even after a significant amount of pressure because of the butterfly effect of the knot. We take the wings of the butterfly, we pull them apart like that, and you can immediately see how it loosens it, frees this up, and it allows us to undo uh, undo the, the knot rather simply. So let's look at that once more. We have our our, our line, uh, perhaps it's a mooring mooring line going from the from the from the dock to 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 our boat, and we know we want a, a loop on that uh, because we're going to attach something to it. And um, so we take it, 
and we give the 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 the, the rope one twist and another twist and we see we can end up with a clear um, figure of eight here in the in the rope and we're going to take the top of the figure of eight it's going to go round underneath back up the bottom here and then back through this hole here so picking it up going round underneath and back through this hole here could you see that maybe i should do that again and then we can tighten this up you tighten up nice and slow and just watch the knot build make sure it's symmetrical on either side uh, with the amount of tension you've um, you've got in it um, <clears throat> let's look at that once more just in case my hands were in the way and you couldn't see that so one twist two twists oh, two twists and we end up with our figure of eight. We take the top of the figure of eight. We come underneath, round and through. We tighten that up and we hopefully end up with a nicely loaded and symmetrical looking knot. Um, we talked earlier about if it looks right, it probably is right. That looks right. We can see the loading this way in the knot. We can see the over the over the over the top bits, which clearly add the friction and the strength to the knot. Um, and we can we can see at the back a nice little a nice little crossover of those two bits. That looks right. It probably is right. And you can see how it takes the tension very well and is easy to loosen. So that is an alpine butterfly knot. Really good, really useful knot for putting a, a, a loop or a bite, um, a fixed loop or a bite on in the middle of a rope. Um, lots of handy little uses around the place. Hope you enjoyed that one. And um, hope you're looking forward to next. We'll probably start talking about bends uh, as our next, next type of knots. Thanks very much. Good night.